from Verizon Innovative Learning, the Artificial Intelligence and Robotics course, Light and Temperature, Lesson 1 Activity, Programming a Microbit. In this video, we will address what is a microbit, the smiley buttons activity, the light level activity, the coding challenge, downloading, and submitting to Canvas. What's a microbit? A microbit is a mini computer because it has a processor, memory, inputs, and outputs. To program a microbit, start at makecode.microbit.org. Follow along with me and we'll explore together. Welcome to makecode.microbit. You'll notice there's no logging in. I'm going to scroll down to tutorials where we have some guided projects. Choose smiley buttons here and choose start the tutorial. And this is going to be what we're going to make. You click on one button and it makes a smiley face. Click on the other button, it's a frowny face. Our instructions are at the top. Our clue is under the light bulb. Let's see if we can find this block here. It's color coded. Here's our toolbox. If I click here, ah, it only gives me one tool to use, and here it is. And it says we're, that's going to be for A. Let's hit next. And we're going to show some LEDs. Under basic, the blue, we're going to find the LEDs for our micro bit here. Let's go ahead and draw a smiley face on there. Okay, for the button press for A. So let's do that. And as we do that, we're going to hit next. Do a similar thing for B. Let's make another button right here. Ah, but it says A still. Let's change it. Here's B. Make another LED block. There it is. And finish up the other one. These are now in place. Now, I'm not exactly satisfied with this program so far. Uh, once this catches up with me, I can choose A, I can choose B, I can go back again. But I want to know when I start the program that it is on and functioning. So I'm going to choose the forever event handler. All of these can be called event handlers for some kind of input. So when we get at this input, then we're going to do this thing. We're going to put in a couple of LEDs here and watch this. This is going to turn into an animation. Let's start with a little heart outline here and do a little miniature heart outline here. And when we do that and our simulator catches up, ah, the forever loop makes it so that this is continually moving uh, heart and heart. And then when I choose A, it will choose the smiley face and go back to the heart. And if I choose B, it will go back to the smiley face. I'm going to leave the rest of the instructions to you. You get to choose your own uh, uh, outcome for what happens when you choose A and B together. A and B on the micro bit together, you get to make your own. So uh, we'll come back here in a second. Okay. Let's build another project, this time our own project, and we're going to call it Light Meter. And we're going to learn how to use the micro bit to measure how much light it so happens it has a sensor on it that will measure that light for us. So let's begin with an event handler again. What happens when A is pressed? We're going to build our uh, sensor around a special uh, thing here called the plot bar graph of blank up to blank. I'm going to click and drag this into our sensor here. This is going to be a bar graph that measures the input of light. Let's find out how can we say the input of light? Here is the input of light from our box here. And so we're going to put this, the, pl uh, the plot, the bar graph of what? Of the light level. Now, it so happens that the light level 
uh, goes up to 255 units. So we're going to enter 255 as the maximum for our graph. And you can see here, nothing happens at first, but in our simulator, we click on A and it shows a medium sized graph. It will change if I change the input here. This is our pretend uh, light shining on the sensor. And if I hit A again, our graph changes. If I change the sensor again, let's make it more. That sensor kind of acts like a window shade. All right, that's not the only thing we can do with the light. Uh, we can also show it as a number. We're going to go to basic and show number. Let's put it right here at, at first. And what number are we going to show? Oh, yes, we're going to show this light level again. So we're going to go to input and find the light level and plug that in right there. It clicks for us. Let's see what happens now. Now, nothing happens at first, but when I hit A, ah, it shows the number first, 128, before it shows the meter reading. And if I see it says 128 right here, let's bring that window shade up a little bit. Now it says 54. Will it read 54? There it is, 5, 4, and then a lower level meter. Moreover, we can graph more things than just light levels. Let's say we didn't want to graph light levels. We can also graph temperature. Let's use temperature instead of light level. So here that is. We're going to plug that in right here. Uh, get the right one. There it is. And we have to do it for both of these. So we're both on uh, temperature. Notice it's in Celsius. Here in America, we normally use Fahrenheit. But just to give you a good idea, 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, excuse me, 40 degrees Celsius is like 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a really hot day. 25 uh, um, LEDs here. Let's make this a multiple of, of five easily here. So I'm going to change our scale to 50. That's a nice easy scale of 50. And so now, uh, because I'm measuring temperature, not lumens or not um, light, I need to change the scale. I'm going to hit A on the simulator, here's our temperature, and it is reading 21 degrees Celsius right now. If I raise the simulated temperature, does it change? Yes, oh look, it goes up to 40 degrees Celsius. That's very hot, and that's a very hot day. Uh, if I take it all the way down here, this actually goes below zero. Ha, huh. we can see what that looks like. And hit the button again, and it shows just five. <laughs> and that's our Celsius degrees. Okay, so we have found uh, our light and our temperature readings, both as a graph and as a number. Finally, I just like to um, show that my thing is working here. So I'm going to use an icon and put that in start, just so that I know this is working. Here it is. And when I hit there it goes. On start, it shows the heart first, but when I hit A, it starts showing the readings. Okay. You are going to create a program that will make this device do both uh, the temperature as well as the light meter um, on one device because you can use uh, both buttons here. You can use the A button to show one of the measurements. You can show the B button to show the other measurement. They need to be in both uh, number form as well as in bar graph form. Notice the bar graph needs to be adjusted uh, depending on what is being measured. Temperature and light are not measured in the same units, so you have to change this here. Uh, to 255 for lights. Uh, and uh, don't forget to personalize your device. Make sure it shows something when it turns on. You get to choose whatever this is going to be. And also for a bonus, uh, please provide a way that it can return to the original opening on start icon once uh, you're done reading the temperature or the light meter. All right. 
uh, good luck to you and uh, let us know how it goes. Once you finish your program, you'll want to do two things. You'll want to upload your program to a real microbit. Make sure your program has a title. I've chosen light meter as mine. Once you've done that, you can hit download. The download shows up here in Google Chrome at the bottom left hand corner. Then plug in your micro bit. Micro bit will actually show up here under your files application and you can click and drag your, here's the micro bit, you can click and drag your program to the micro bit and you'll notice that it's flashing. While it's blinking, it's thinking. So let it do its work there. You can use the keys control shift switch screen on a Chromebook in order to in order to take a screenshot. I'll take a screenshot like that. Take your screenshot, paste it into the worksheet lesson one light and temperature. Upload and submit this to Canvas. Well done, you did it.